welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here. I focus on luxury, fashion, beauty, fragrance, and travel. So if you happen to love any of those things, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and become part of my YouTube family here. So today I wanted to do a tag video that I've seen going around YouTube. It's called the most used, least used, and cutest handbag tag. And this tag actually came right on time just because if you saw my most recent uploaded video, I'm trying to clean out my closet, trying to see what works, what doesn't work, what I want to get rid of, declutter things, and so yeah, this is perfect timing to see what I don't want or what I'm not using and things like that so without further ado let's just start with my most used handbags the bags that I've been reaching for lately let's just start with this one right here this one is my Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch this is actually a SLG but I use it as a bag as a clutch and this one is a toiletry bag. This one is in the Azure print in the Tahitian line, which was a limited edition. And it's actually a bag that I never intended to purchase. Uh, I never wanted anything in the Azure print. As you guys know, it's light, it's white. I don't really do white accessories, mostly because they'll get dirty and I just didn't want to deal with potential color transfer and things like that but somehow I just I don't know just popped into my head that I wanted this and then it was all sold out but one of my friends here on YouTube and Instagram was nice enough to sell me hers because she wasn't using it and I love this thing I wear it a lot during the summer but I also wear it other parts of the year just because I live in Southern California and it's warm here a lot and I don't really cater to rules. I don't care. I just make up my own rules. I don't care. <laughs> but anyway, I absolutely love this thing. And yeah. One of my most used handbags has been this one. And this one is my Fendi Baguette. I love, love, love this bag. As you can see, it is black with gold hardware. And I purchased this. It actually filled a void in my closet. I wanted a smaller little baguette style i like smaller bags you guys so i didn't have a black leather one and i absolutely love this it does come with a longer strap which i have inside the bag i always wanted a fendi baguette but mostly they had the zuka print with the brown and the black and if you've been watching my channel for a while i don't like the color brown it's my least favorite color in the spectrum of color so I never bought it but then they came out with this beautiful black all leather one and I went for it so absolutely love this bag next for one of my most used handbags that I've been reaching for has been this one right here which I recently purchased this is my coach tabby in the color chalk another white bag and I love this bag so as you can see it's another white bag not really thinking I would ever purchase another white bag but here I am love 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 this bag it's my favorite at the moment I have been wearing it non-stop uh, it has this beautiful brushed gold hardware as you can see it has pebbled leather and of course you could be worried about it getting color transfer or getting dirty and actually I wore it with a new pair of jeans and it had color <laughs> blue on it and I freaked out but I just got a baby wipe and it came right off as you can see so there's no more color on it but yes it wipes off and cleans up very well so when I wear it I just wipe it off and it's all good so love this and it's actually more of a cream like off-white color and I just love it so my favorite current bag at the moment I did actually switch out the original strap uh, the straps are removable and I actually switched it out for this one which is also from coach and it has like these beautiful rose gold flowers on it
and I love it. So my next most used bag is this one, which is my Dior saddle bag that I also purchased this year. And I love this bag. It's in the oblique print and there's not much more to say, but when I got this bag, I was wearing it nonstop absolutely love it and I'm so happy to actually have it in my collection so now we're gonna go to the other spectrum which are my least used bags and let's start off with this one this is my Chanel GST in the large and this is actually my very first Chanel bag purchase and I love this bag when I got it rocked it, wore it all the time, but I just recently have not been wearing it. I haven't worn it in so long, but recently I did make myself, like just force myself to wear it just to see if I would fall back in love with it, but no, I haven't. So yeah, unfortunately it's one of my least used handbags here in my closet. So yes, I am going to sell this because I feel like just having things around that you don't use is like a waste of money and somebody else can be enjoying it and you can use that money to fund or purchase other things that you really do want and that you will actually use so anyway yes I am going to sell this so I am gonna have a vlog sale I promised you guys selling some things here in my closet I actually did a video like filmed a video but I never uploaded it because I couldn't figure out the prices which is the hardest part for me but anyway, yes, I'm going to do that very soon. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Keeping on with my least used handbags, I have this one, which is my Louis Vuitton Brea in the larger size. And this is in the Amarant. And the Vichetta on this is actually perfect. It's beautiful. It almost looks unused. But I rocked this bag to the hilt when I first got it. I wore it all the time. It kind of has a sentimental value to me, but I haven't been using it, so this is another one that, yeah, I'm going to sell, but another one of my, unfortunately, least used handbags. Also, another reason that I don't really wear it is because it's a larger bag, and if you just notice anything about my most frequent or most used handbags they're all smaller bags i'm really into smaller bags i don't carry a lot anymore so i like my smaller bags and that's just too big for me so yeah next i have this which is my prada frame bag if you know me you know that light blue is my favorite color so I purchased this, it was kind of a limited edition and it has gold hardware, very beautiful, but I no longer, I can't honestly not remember the last time that I wore this bag. So very cute, but yeah, one of my least used handbags now. And last but not least is this one, which is my Saint Laurent. <laughs> I haven't worn this bag in so long I honestly can't even remember the name of it which is really sad but uh, I'll have to put the name of it somewhere on the screen when I find out but it's all leather and this bag I purchased just because I needed a all regular leather bag which every girl I believe should have in her collection in all black bag so Anyway, I just don't use this bag and I actually just want to replace it with a black Lady Dior. That will be my other new black handbag. So haven't been using this and it's one of my least used handbags. So now we're going to talk about my cutest handbags in my collection. And I have this one, which is my Chanel Cambone little baguette i absolutely love this bag i love the color it's pink and it's black it has this beautiful quilting on it and i did have to purchase this bag pre-love just because they no longer make it it has a pocket on the back and i found this one in perfect condition a lot of times you can find them but they have a lot of color transfer and the leather's all beat up but this one was perfect I just love it, the pink and the black, and then the inside has this beautiful 
black lining with the Chanel CCs on it. And then I actually found a nice card case, a matching one, which is also pink and black. So uh, I was really lucky and I absolutely love this bag. I love it. I love it. So that is my Chanel Cambone little baguette. And then last but not least, my other cutest handbag, can you guess, is this one. I talked about this on a recent video. This is my Louis Vuitton... Alma BB in the Blue Lagoon color. This was a limited edition color and I love this. So this actually was when they very first started making Alma BBs and especially in different colors because they didn't used to make colors like pink and these colors and red and well they did make the Palme de Amour but um, you know, all the other colors and this was an untended purchase. I just walked in one day, I had bought something else, I can't even remember what it was, but this was there and I wasn't going to buy it just because that was not my point in going there. I had no intention of buying it, but it was on the shelf. This is my favorite color and I couldn't get my mind off of it. So the next day I went back and they still had it and I had to buy it. And at that point there was only like a very, very few left in the country or in the world. So I was lucky enough to get it, but it's my cutest, one of my cutest handbags just because it was just cute. And when I would wear it, so many people would come up to me and like want to touch it and they were like, oh my god, the bag is so cute, and it's like a little puppy, like everyone would want to touch it and see it. It was just kind of the weirdest kind of thing. And once I was actually with my husband, we were out somewhere, and he's like, why are all these people talking to you and, and going all out of their way over a stupid handbag? <laughs> like, I don't get it. Like... Like, I just don't get it. So anyway, that was kind of funny. But um, yeah, this is one of my cutest handbags. And I don't see myself ever parting with it. I absolutely love it. And yeah. So these are my most used, least used, and cutest handbags that I have in my collection currently. I hope you guys like this video. If I think of anyone to tag, I will put your names in the description bar below. So definitely make sure you check there. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do so. You can also follow me on Instagram and definitely click the bell below so you'll be notified each time I upload a video here. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have an amazing day, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.